Kirsten, a 3-0 victory over Rice. What are your opening thoughts? Yeah, I thought we did some good things, but I thought we were still a little too inconsistent. Um, our serving pressure got better, uh, I thought, as the match went on, and that's going to be really critical as we continue to move forward against a lot of great teams. So um, I thought we were a little better than yesterday, so that's a uh, step in the right direction, but we're going to need to step it up another notch. All right. Did you notice anything different with the energy you guys brought to the arena today? That was one thing that you yeah. thought wasn't where you wanted it to be yesterday. I think they were really trying to do that. I kind of tuned that out, but my assistants had said, especially after set one, energy was really good. The warm-up, I think, was better today. So I think, you know, again, in these buildings that are pretty cavernous, it's it, it really leans on every member of the team to bring energy. Serving wise you mentioned that the pressure got better as the match went on. Maddie Bonovic seemed like she had a good game one from behind the line, and that continued. What did you see from her that allowed her to be so potent from behind the surface? Yeah, no, I think Maddie's got, you know, she's got good tempo pretty consistently on her serve. I think sometimes what we see is some players have tempo sometimes, and then other times they might get a little bit nervous and that tempo changes. And Maddie's someone that I think feels pretty confident to go back and hit it no matter the situation. Uh, it was kind of the same story you said one yesterday. Um, I think Bryce had three block touches before the first stoppage today, and then they only had one the rest of the set, which is a really, really low number. Did your hitters figure anything out offensively to avoid that more? In well, the they were diving a lot. Um, you know, I think, you know, we, we actually talked about this a little bit in the locker room. Of, you know, sometimes there's an acclimation period to get used to what a blocker's doing and things along those lines. And sometimes it's frustrating because we're saying, hey, we've told you in scout these things happen and we'd like them to make that connection a little bit faster sometimes. Um, but I do think, you know, just as you can watch it on film, but getting out there and seeing the size and seeing what they're doing with their hands. There is something to be said that after you see it a couple times, you can make some adjustments. I mean, Ava's just a stud. Yeah. But how good was she in game she was, Yeah, she was really good, I thought, all day. I mean, she hit almost 500 today, carried a ton of load. Uh, you know, and that's good. You know, we need Ava in Ava form uh, over the next couple of weeks for sure. Did you notice anything that she was doing in particular with just how precise and sharp she was with her shots today? She had asked Angie one thing to focus on and Angie said focus on uh, slow to fast on your approach so we'll give Angie the props for whatever it did it connected well she's the shot doctor yeah uh, Nora obviously got going I mean she had a good set one but she really started impacting the game in multiple ways as the match wore on did you sense like you know kind of a takeover of the mentality with her and Ava especially you know, just the way they were impacting the game defensively serving and hitting I think Nora's Nora every day, you know. I think uh, Nora was frustrated. She she said, we're probably going to lose this challenge. We're 0 for 5. And I was like, listen, I haven't challenged. And she's like, well, I'm 0 for 5 because all of them were hurt over turn. So I think that's what Nora was angry about. Okay, okay. fair enough. Um, yeah, I guess, again, you know, you, you guys talk about edge. Like that's, you know, one of the main focal points of the season, right? It seemed like every time you guys had Rice teetering on the ropes and just like kind of ready to absorb a knockout blow, it just felt like you landed it. Did you notice anything with your team's mentality, like when they felt like they had an opportunity to end a set or to separate if they did it? Yes, but I was frustrated that we were in that situation. I think that's the bigger takeaway from my standpoint. And yeah, you're right. Like as as it got, but, but we need to make sure we understand the value of every point. And I think at points today, we are like, oh, we've opened this up, and then we'd let them back in. I think we did that yesterday. And and uh, those are things that great teams can't do. We need to be, we need to value every single point, regardless of who's on the other side of the net. To the, to the flip side of that, did, did you notice a, an adjustment there in game three? The team didn't really let, yes, they, they were, didn't let Rice off the hook. They were much cleaner. Rice started, you know, they started to struggle. Um, our serving disrupted them a lot more in set three, and, and that discombobulated them some. So Rice wasn't their best in set three, but I think, it, you know, we did kind of wear them down. And then I think the good thing is, the difference in some of the points is that we didn't then give them unforced errors. We were, we were cleaner at that point. Set two was kind of weird. I mean, you guys don't give seven runs very often, but you did in that one. There were a lot of challenges, a lot of like just rhythm stoppers, right? How did you flip set two and not let them just use the seven-zero run to kind of take over and be comfortable? Well, I mean, that was unacceptable. Yeah. It, you know, I thought it was at a challenge. We were kind of goofing off, which some team, and it's always you, you got to figure out the pulse of the team. Sometimes goofing off for teams is the best thing for them because they stay relaxed, but. We were goofing off, and then 
you know, add several bad points afterwards. So, you know, that was discussed in the locker room. Like, we got to stay locked in. Obviously, that didn't bode well for us. So, uh, so I think, you know, those are good learning moments because I want to lose steam. Like, having fun is, is part of who we are. So I want joy on the court. But it does, you can lose focus pretty quickly once those challenging... I assistants thought I was going to take a timeout quick after that. I wasn't, but he, they misunderstood what I was saying because they were like, I mean, no, it's, the game's so slow right now already. we got to create some rhythm because it really did yeah. it did deter things for a little while in the second set. Uh, last question. I know it's a resume opportunity for this team this season, but what's just from your read with the players, what's the anticipation level with the rematch of the team that ended your season last year? You know, I don't know. We, I mean, you know how our philosophy is. For I mean, sure. when we went into the weekend, we said Northern Iowa and Rice are the most important matches of the weekend because, you know, and you know all those reasons why. So we had lots of discussions on that. And now it's the fun part, right? Now, uh, you know, I've challenged them. Sometimes we work into matches. You know, I'd, I'd really like to see us come out strong tomorrow from the get-go, taking more risk, not playing conservatively to start. Like, it's almost like... Sometimes we have to like work our way into that aggressiveness, and, and we just can't do that against a team like Louisville. So, uh, I mean, I, I have no doubt they're excited. I, I can't say that we've had that discussion yet. Um, we haven't done their scout yet. You know, we really haven't talked much about Louisville. Yet. Well, I mean, set two was wild. Um, you were just on a crazy heater. You scored five in the first six rounds. Kills. Going on. Yeah, I think we're just trying to keep getting better every day, and I think yesterday we didn't play our best. So I think today we're focused on the little things to try to get a little bit better each day. Um, but yeah, we've had a little um, a few runs uh, that they got on that set. And so I think we're really trying to turn things around and continue this energy for the next game as well. So what were the little things that you focused on to be as efficient as you were today in hitting those? Yeah, me specifically just mixing up my shots. Um, yesterday I kind of was hitting the same spot. And so kind of working slow to fast in my approach and just mixing it up. Did your, did the, I mean, I know you're confident in general, but did your confidence grow the more you kept seeing the ball go down? Yeah, for sure. I think it always does for anyone. Um, but yeah, especially when you're trying new things, when they fall, it's different. So when you're in that type of a zone, what's, like, do you feel on top of the world? How, 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 what, what changes about your approach? Yeah, I feel like I kind of just get hungry for the ball. Okay. Like, I'm like, Kendra, give me the ball, let's go. Especially when you're on it. I think that's how everything works. Um, but Kendra was dishing, putting up great balls, and so that definitely you know, set two, I mean, you guys don't give up 7 0 runs very often. But Rice went on one. It was a weird 7 0 run. Two challenges. A very choppy set of play. How did you guys, like, kind of recalibrate and get control of that set or eventually put it in? Yeah, I think for the run, especially, it all starts with the pass. And so we were really focusing on nailing that so we could be in system because um, then we have other options. But after that, once again, it's just energy and we kind of talk about that confidence and that grit, making sure we're going for it at all times. It helps. Did uh, you guys do anything, uh, I guess, intentionally different in terms of bringing your own energy in a gym that's kind of cavernous without a lot of fans in it? I don't know about different, but we've been talking about it a lot. I think coming from Nebraska, it's one of the loudest gyms we've ever played in. So then yesterday was probably the quietest game we've ever played in. And I think it's really hard, but it's really important that we make our own energy, like you were saying. So our bench is just doing such a good job, they always do. But just finding ways to make it um, energy ourselves, it's a good job. So before the season, when you talked to us, you know, you said you wanted, the, the team wanted to develop an edge. Um, I think I put words in your mouth that saying you want to be bullies, you want to be, you want to be dominant, right? Like when you get a team teetering or kind of wavering confidence-wise, you want to step on the gas and put them away. What did you see today in that regard? Because every time it felt like you guys had rice on the ropes, mm-hmm. it just came with a flurry of punches and the match was, and the set was over. Yeah, I think especially that third set yeah. um, came out kind of close, and then we were like, okay, we need to take over this game. We need to come out strong. And so, yeah, we're always talking about it. It's one of the big things. And so once we talked about that, we really put on the set and turn on the gas and go from there. And we ended up having a lot of success in the third set, and I think that's why we're always talking about it. Okay, so tomorrow is, I mean, you guys are kind of a funny program because, like, most teams would go into this weekend going, holy crap, we get to play Louisville. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys try to take care of, like, the Rice Northern Iowa and yeah. make Louisville kind of like, icing on top of the cake, right? Yeah. So now that you've got it and you've played Rice in Northern Iowa, right? what's your anticipation level, especially your returning teammates? 
for you know, getting the opportunity to rematch a team that ended your season last year? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all super excited, obviously. Um, even thinking about that loss last year, it still hurts. And so I think we're all just coming at it and wanting to dominate and do really well. Um, but yeah, just coming out strong and taking control and obviously just having fun. It's really a great environment, it's a great rematch, and just a chance to prove ourselves and prove that we belong to be in the top ten.